Shiba Inu continues to set all-time high after all-time high. Today, it went up another 64%. That's in one day, guys, 64%. And uh, the new candle just opened 25 minutes ago, and it's already green. So let's do a quick recap. A few weeks ago, we had this move here. It was about a 392% move, and we did a video on this. We spoke about that it would retrace at that point and probably consolidate before continuing up higher and just like that it did exactly what we thought would happen which it consolidated here and once this happened then last week Wednesday exactly a week ago we pointed out this triangle and bull flag that was going on and we spoke about the possible breakout here now our breakout guess our prediction when we made the breakout you know we didn't think it was gonna go up that high our prediction was right here and that's exactly where it went for two days for three days actually it was stuck there for three days then finally yesterday it broke above that level and today it just took off <laughs> I it, it's hard that these things are hard to predict, which is why I don't like to put money in them because who would predict who would have predict, predicted that this was going to go 64% in a day on the week. It's up 123% last week. It was up 29% week before that up 6% week before that 205%. So as you guys can see here, if you pull up the RSI extremely overbought on the weekly extremely overbought on the daily and you guys can see here what happened last time we were at that level which is when we were right here right that's when we consolidated i expect something similar to that here soon i do not expect this to just continue going up although this is community driven i'm expecting some sort of pullback here at some point soon right it can't just go up forever right or wrong so now that we are at these levels, what type of pullback could we potentially see? What type of consolidation? So the first target here for a retracement is right here, this Fibonacci level right here. That's right around that 7,000 Satoshi level. And the next one is here. This would be the second pullback target, which is right around 5,700, 5,800. Then of course you have this one right here. This is probably going to be the bigger one because that's where it was rejected and that's where it also took off from so a lot of these things like to retest sometimes where it took off from doesn't mean that it's going to go all the way back but it is potential you know potentially a scenario so if you're in shiba i'd be looking to take profits right you want to be taking profits you can leave a runner to continue going up to see if it continues up but take some profits take some money out and if you know, prices kind of go like this for the next few days or so. Then you can look, you know, once this goes back into um, the RSI drops back like it did here into the neutral zone, then you could go back in and look to, you know, jump back on. But I mean, it, it's not going to go up forever, guys. It's only a matter of time before we see a drop here from our breakout point that we spoke about till now it's up 218 percent guys that's insane it has to retrace it's part of the market structures right it has to retrace at some point so this is a good time definitely to take profits if you're just in it for the long term and you don't mind the volatility then then it's fine to leave the money in there but currently the levels i'm looking at if i were to be putting any money into this is retracements back to one of these levels right here i'm sure it's going to retrace back to one of these levels don't know which one but it, it's going to pull back so just be ready for that if you guys enjoyed this quick take here make sure to smash the like button on the video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and turn on the notifications i'll see you guys on the next one as always peace and love